Hello and welcome back to the Pet Hipster Channel. It's me, John, and today I went to Wendy's. I also got one of these yesterday. I had it delivered. Um, but that turned out to be a folly of mine uh, because every time I have a delivery for Wendy's, I seem to get uh, something wrong. In this case, they just sent me someone else's order altogether. And then their customer service, customer care center was closed yesterday. They, uh, so I ended up calling back today. Very nice lady I spoke to. Got me a full refund for my order yesterday. And then went out, drove myself to the restaurant, and got food, checked the bag, make sure it was the right stuff before I left. So I can review it for you. See all the hard work that I do. Sometimes I even have to eat Wendy's two days in a row. And yesterday I didn't even get to control what it was because they just sent me some other random person's food. Anyway, here at Wendy's. It was supposed to say mom around her neck there. I always thought it said mom. Weird. Anyway, Wendy's has two uh, new things. Well, one new thing in general and they have put it on two different things. Technically three different things because there's also a chicken sandwich, but the nacho burger and They also have nacho chicken sandwich And then also their new queso fries, which uses the same Poblano queso they put on the nacho burger They also put on the fries So what is on The nacho burger you might ask well have that right on my phone. It comes with a spicy corn and tortilla strips. I think it's just to say spicy corn tortilla strips, but it says spicy corn and tortilla, as if tortilla and corn are two different things. They look like little Fritos. They taste like little Fritos with some kind of spice to them. We also have lettuce and tomato, and the poblano queso, which is also in the fries, a spicy chipotle sauce. You know, chipotles are dried jalapenos. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure chipotles are dried jalapenos. This is a single, so it has a single hamburger patty, a slice of American cheese, and that is a jalapeno cheddar bun. Then, for uh, the fries, the queso fries, they're supposed to come with poblano cheese, uh, queso, and also shredded cheddar. And I believe there's no shredded cheddar on this. It's just the poblano sauce, queso sauce. So, um, despite me making sure everything was in the bag, I didn't really check and see that everything had all the right ingredients on it. So I'm missing shredded cheddar cheese on the queso fries. I also have uh, two drinks. I'm not sure if I've tried these on the channel before. I'm pretty sure I haven't tried this. This is a strawberry fusion Fanta, which I got in the diet version. Uh, this is one of their um, Coca-Cola creations. I'm not sure what the strawberry is fused with, but it does taste very strawberry-y. And then I have this. This is the Strawberry Frosty, which by the time I get to it, will probably be melted. All right, let's go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and try the Nacho Burger. Lettuce, tomato, chipotle sauce, queso, and the cheese slice. Here we go. You can also get this in a double, or a triple, or a chicken sandwich. Mm. 
it definitely does have a very nacho flavor to it. You get little crunchies from those tortilla strips. The the queso cheese is really reminiscent of a good uh, nacho queso. Not like that neon yellow stuff, but something you might get at an actual um, Mexican restaurant where they have like that big uh, vat, sometimes like a churning, bubbling thing uh, where it's just constantly moving the, the cheese around. I don't know if you've ever seen something like that. And the queso sauce, <clears throat> or the, the chipotle sauce, has a really nice jalapeno flavor to it as well. Uh, the the bun, I'm going to just take a check on the bun. Because, yeah, that does too. Mm. A jalapeno flavor to the bun as well. This is probably one of the most flavorful fast food buns that I've ever had. There have been like really good buns, like a brioche bun or pretzel bun, where it's nice and uh, soft, pillowy, buttery tasting. But this one with the jalapenos, like there's jalapenos inside of the bread. You can see right there, there's a jalapeno shop right there. And they taste like jalapenos, they're spicy like jalapenos. Which, if you're gonna have nachos, you need three basic things. You need the chips, which this has. You need the queso, which this has. And you need jalapenos. And this has it in both the bun and the chipotle sauce as well. So overall, the Wendy's Nacho Cheeseburger, I'm going to give it definitely two thumbs up. And the lettuce and tomato actually go really well with this as well. I even think with all the stuff in here that the tomato would shine through, especially like fast food tomatoes are usually like those like really pink, watery, bland tomatoes. And that's what I was expecting. But that bite I just took really had a nice tomato flavor, like if it was like a really good ripe tomato. And Wendy's also usually has really good lettuce. It's like it's uh, not really wilty. It's very fresh and crispy, kind of a crunch to it. Even that slice of American cheese is really playing a part in the combination of flavors of the sandwich. I have to say. It's been a while since I've been really impressed by something new at Wendy's, and this is definitely impressive. The nacho, I think it's loaded nacho. Okay, let's see what the name of it is. Yes, the loaded nacho cheeseburger. Very good, I highly recommend. Let's go ahead and try the, the queso fries. You can see that this also has like chunks of pepper about, I think these are poblanos because it says poblano queso. Mm -hmm. Definitely poblano. Poblanos have like a smokier flavor. The poblano cheese is good. 
they didn't give me the extra shredded cheese it's supposed to have on here. I think the chipotle sauce they should put on here as well. Just like a little drizzle of the chipotle sauce on there. It would really bring out uh, the more jalapeno flavor that you expect from a nacho. They don't call them nacho fries, they call them queso fries, so maybe that's what they were going for. But uh, I like those as well. The uh, queso fries, I'll give them one thumb up because it's good. Though the loaded nacho burger was really good. <laughs> now let's try some of this. Strawberry frosting. Tastes like strawberry ice cream. A little more in between drinkable and eatable. It's also like 100 degrees outside, so it's a lot more melty than it typically would have been. One thumb up. And the Fanta Strawberry Fusion. I don't know what the difference between this and regular strawberry Fanta is, but it tastes good. I got the, the diet zero sugar version. And it still tastes good, still sweet. There's nothing weird uh, after tasting about it. But the main takeaway of this video is if you're near a Wendy's, or if you're going to a Wendy's, or you're going out of your way to go to a Wendy's, definitely try the loaded nacho burger. I assume the chicken sandwich would also be great. Uh, it uses their well premium chicken. It doesn't use like that giant chicken nugget version. So, if you like the Wendy's chicken sandwich, I'm sure you like the loaded nacho chicken sandwich or the loaded nacho burger. Queso fries are great. They're fine. They're not amazing, but they're good. Um, I think it would be better if it had the shredded cheese on it that it's supposed to come with as well. But anyway, that's it for this video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one for another review of some interesting new food item or just something that I find interesting. But until then, I'll see you later.